the only democratic formula out there. There are many others. There are parliamentary forms of government. There are all sorts of interesting and fair ways uh, to, to have a democracy. And what's going on, in my opinion, is that we have someone like Hugo Chavez saying, well, that's all I'm doing. I'm just finding a different route to democracy, but it's still democratic. You know, my father, like, like I bet like some of your parents that are Cuban-Americans, was what they call a hardliner. I mean, uh, so, you know, very, in, very much in favor of the embargo, very much in favor of uh, the, the policies that we've practically had for the last 50 years. But those prosecutions and those sentences were upheld by the Supreme Court in 1919, in the 1920s. And it took the court another 50 years to figure out how do we deal with speech that isn't directly a threat against an individual, but it makes us uncomfortable. Um, that when you sit down to write something, you have tools. And the main tool that you have is words. Everything is uses telephone numbers of some type because almost everyone in the U.S. has access to a telephone. Um, and you have to have a way of selecting people so that you're trying to get as representative a group of people to select as possible. You're, you're dependent on getting as many jobs as you can. This is what I did for 10 years. I made a good living at it. I, made, I, I combined it with um, uh, writing marketing material as well for other for companies because I had this finance techie background. So if you want to freelance, if you, if you want to have a more flexible career, um, Freelancing is a good way to go. And when, when I was in school, uh, and, and probably equal was too, the internet was just sort of coming online and all that. Now, I mean, I would call you guys sort of the children of the internet generation. You know how to, you know, you, you know how to do everything from Twitter and, uh, you know, Facebook and all that kind of stuff that you know we just never had before. So there's a lot of different ways to get information. Now, with migration, we get something called chain migration. So. People here will bring their cousins out, will bring their relatives out, primarily white. So that's the main reason people who come have some sort of economic support. So people are more likely to leave Cuba when they know when they already know people here. One of the things that uh, President Obama has said repeatedly is that the United States continues to stand by the policy of supporting the right of people to elect their own governments, uh, which I think would be you know, where, where the U.S. and Cuba would come. At the, end of the, at the end of the meeting, the two trade ministers came up. The Canadian trade minister was a former football player who stood about six foot four, and the Cuban stood about five foot four, and <laughs> the Canadian put his arm around the Cuban colleague and said, you can't do business with better businessmen anywhere. So, and Cuba, in my opinion, is one of the most polarizing topics in all of American discussion and debate. Like Israel, you know, it's one of those things that you can't talk about without getting into a fight with somebody. So <laughs> what you guys, it's your job as budding journalists and young people in Miami, particularly, to break that. My, my suggestion is this. You never know why a person wants to go off the record. They could be using you. They could be mad because, or upset because they didn't get the promotion and somebody else did. We just never know what their motives are. And, and what is also important, I think, that has been lost and is particularly difficult for journalists today is that they removed journalists from being um, civically engaged. This whole concept of, of not caring about the outcome is an absurdity. One has to care about the outcome to be a good journalist. I, I hope you've realized at this point that what you're doing, what you hope to do, uh, it's a calling that involves writing. So much of what you see us do at the end of the day is the end product of hours of research and writing and rewriting. So I hope you enjoy the process.